Hi guys, Visual Studio Code is a simple code editor with many features and tools available for the developer for faster development. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Visual Studio Code in your Windows system. We will install it and see how we can use it. Let us first download the Visual Studio Code. Go to Google and search download Visual Studio Code. Download it from code.visualstudio.com. Download Visual Studio Code, click on this and then click on Windows. It will start downloading automatically. Download is complete now. We have an exe file in the downloads folder. Double click on it. Click on I accept the agreement. Next. It will install in the default folder. You can change the folder by clicking on the browse button. We'll keep it in this folder only. Click on next. Next. Check this create a desktop icon. You can check on these two also to add options in the Windows Explorer context menu. Click on next. Click on install. So it started installing. Okay, installation is completed. We don't want to launch it now. So uncheck it now and click on finish. So installation is complete now. So how to open it? If you click on this search window, select Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is open. You can see on the left hand side few icons are there. This is the explorer and on the right hand side this will be the editor. And there is a search icon. You can search in the files and this is the source control. Visual Studio Code gives a very good interface with Git repository. So you can use it and here all the extension you will see. There are a lot of extensions available in the Visual Studio Code. You can install it. If I type PHP, it will give all the extensions related to PHP. You can see these are the list of extensions for PHP development. You can see the extensions related to Python also. So these extensions are very helpful for the developer. It makes developers job easy. You can open a folder also open folder. I go to XAMPP, htdocs and select login. It opens the login folder and you can see all the files. I close this. You can go to command prompt also. And here you can just type code and enter. So Visual Studio code will be opened here. You can also go to a particular folder. Let me go to the folder XAMPP, htdocs and let's open the form and here type cmd and then type code space dot and then enter so it will open the folder and all the files will be seen in this folder you can click on this plus icon to create a new file suppose form.php and click on this also for a new folder css so the folder is created. You can go to settings here and click on settings. You can set up lot of things in the text editor like font and suggestions formatting everything. You can go to the terminal also. Terminal and new terminal. If you want to run any command you can use this. You can also press control J. It will open the terminal. And once you open the file, if you want to copy a line, just keep the cursor on the line and press shift alt and down arrow. For a new line, place the cursor anywhere on the line and press control enter. To use multi cursor, press alt key and click on multiple places and start typing. So these are some basic features you can use in Visual Studio Code. 
I hope it was a good learning for you. If you like it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.